Okay, we're back. We are definitely committing to our path of madness. Where we just say, we just throw caution to the wind. Right? Who needs, who needs to be cautious with your decisions? When you can just be absolute crazy people and conquer all of your enemies. Right? Completely need, need. I am going to go and annex this guy by giving you a gift. Come on. And then I'm going to also give you a gift. You both should be integrated soon at the end of this month. Integration. Come on. Integration. What vassals do I have left? Doink. Oh my god, I just have so many. There's so many of them. They just seemingly always increase in number. I gotta make you guys like us. I gotta make you like us. And I gotta make you like us. And I gotta make you like us. There we go. And we are gonna go to economy. We're gonna swap to a... Um, Free trade, because it makes more money. Pretty much as simple as that. Do we get more? We have more forts that I got to destroy. Look at them, uh, see if it, it changes. How are we doing forts? There aren't too many forts up here. That's good. I'm going to not sacrifice. Well, maybe I should just sack all of our stability, because we're losing it anyway. Right, like... Our stability is going to be going down in the dumpster uh, rather quickly because of how much aggressive expansion we have. That's just how it is. We can live in an unstable world uh, because I will just simply dominate everyone who uh, decides to stand against me. And plus, I don't think I need uh, population happiness since I make most of my money through trade. Anyway. Um... What are we going to do? I mean, a lot of these people are very unhappy with me. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to need you to, like, swap to harsh treatment. And speaking of that, we got to go to administration. We got to automate all this. So we get even more money. And then if I have a civil... If we get... If they rebel, it's not a problem. If individual provinces rebel, it's very easy to put down. It's when you got a civil war and you get the civil war uh, war mechanics. Oh, look at that. I already have a claim on you. Who are you allied with? Just these guys. Cool. Prepare to die. Do I raise the levies again? I'm so tempted. I think I may actually just swap to the the Merc Law. Because it's just... It's so freaking good. It's so good. It's so good. Because when I go here to Legions... Um, we only have one Legion. And... How many of these... Can I, can I just add like an infinite number of cohorts to this? Hmm... Hmm. And the thing is, I don't know if I can, if I have the manpower yet. We'll, we'll, we'll probably actually just look at this later. We're going to go full mad lad. We're going to be the maddest lad that's ever madded ladded. And we're going to say, screw that. Doink. I think we just lost our dude. No, he still exists. I don't really know how you managed to still exist. Despite us not having any more legions. But hey, man, if you want to... You want to stay there? Does it just say I get I have no legions? Yeah, I can't raise any legions. I guess I just still have the existing one. Uh, anyway, we're going to pop that, uh, so I can lose even more aggressive expansion by the moment. And yeah, be happy. We got wages that are very expensive. That's fine. Okay, we got these guys. 
I think our army is big enough to fight these guys. I don't think they're as strong as the last dudes we fought. Those last guys we fought actually had a surprisingly large number of men. People want military access. We're going to say no. We're going to have rebellion soon. That's fine. The de... Oh my god. The de hay. Where are you? Okay, you're all the way over there. Okay, yeah, I don't care about you. That's fine. Yeah, I know, I know, Geisha. They're they're just they're just stealing more men. They're stealing more pops. It's kind of toxic. I completely I def oh shit. Nah, uh, no, no. We gotta just raise the levees, boys. We thought we could do it without all the levees. We were wrong. It's clear. That we always need more men. It's just a simple law of life. Especially when we're fighting so far north. We're just going to take the entirety of the north. We're expanding faster than the, uh, the Romans. Whoa, another Olympia that we're not going to win. I'm just not even going to... I'm just going to pick the first option of the Olympia. The only time anything interesting happens with it is if you win. Uh... So if we win, we'll get a pop-up that'll actually give us rewards, and then we'll read it. Because then other than that, it just keeps telling you the same old... Uh, the time of man has come again. Get ready to rumble. Blah, 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 blah. Where are these guys? Why is there nobody in your family? You don't even give me anything. Good job. Yes, food stockpile. That's fine. The Seleucids could die. We have no allegiances to them. Yep. And yep. Hopefully soon. Okay, we're, we're making a lot more money again. That's good. I'm pretty sure this is from just, yeah, more money from trade. We got a lot of wages going out. That's fine. Uh, go there. You go there. We'll slow down to the game. Where are? Where is the enemy? I know you scumbags are gonna be coming from somewhere. Yeah. Just stack all 13k of you on one spot. That's fine. Yep, you're all moving. Y'all are standing still. I don't have to go west, do I? Oh my god, I'm not gonna go over there. That's where I draw the line. And I'm not at war with the freaking geisha. Can't believe they escaped it. It's okay, we're, we're not gonna stop until we end up over there. I'm gonna eat all, I'm gonna literally sit at zero stability. Who cares? I'm gonna have a lot of civil wars, but we'll we'll deal with those as we get them. It's kind of like an investment when you think about it. We're, we're we're taking on even more AE now, so that whenever one day we'll be able to rise to the sky and be the strongest person on the planet. Because these are barbarians, and they're easy to be. They're easy enough to be. I think I may even stop this war soon. Because I just want the land border. I want them to be weak enough that uh, I can go take them down later. But I want enough land that I can develop and uh, get for my own. The Romans are doing more Roman things. They're just still rapidly expanding. Are they going west? Oh, they're going south. Are they going south? Oh yeah, Syracuse. I'm stupid. What is this? Mammer Time Republic. Oh my god, the Mercenary Republic. Aren't you guys a Mercenary Republic? Can I click on you and like find it? Your, your government type? No? Mammer Time Republic. I'm pretty sure that's just... Oh no, it's an oligarch Republic. I'm pretty sure if you play a Syracuse, it says that they're mercenaries. I'm just going to take a wild guess and say historically they're mercenaries. If they even existed. You can never really tell these days. 
Doink, 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 doink. I just want more AE. Give me even more AEs, all I want. Yeah, I'll take that. There we go. I don't care about clean borders. I care about results. And the results I want is I want these scumbags to go down. How can you be raiding me so well with so few troops? I just don't get it, guys. How are you managing to pull it off? I have 83 AE. That's fine. I don't need AE. What are you going to do to me? Everyone else in the world hates us? That's just how life is sometimes. Uh, isn't there a mercenary maintenance thing here somewhere? No. I would like the mercenary maintenance one, please. Isn't it? It's Oh, it's all the way at the bottom. God dang it. Greco Persian influence. Mm, I think the Persian one gives me a mer mercenary bonus too, right? Yep, it does. Oh my god, and it gives me so much pop. Okay, that's where we're going. Uh, which one? Which one are we gonna go down first? Assimilation. That's what we're doing. And I like the found city modifier. That's what I'm gonna be doing with all of my political influence. I have to found cities. I just gotta be founding cities all day. That's all I do. My entire life is founding cities. These, a lot of these provinces have one pop. It's cool. I'll worry about that later. Oh my god, that province is... That dude has a lot of stuff. It's high pop. I guess is that your capital? Who cares? I can found cities later. I need to move you guys to the border, move you to the border. I want to see if I go to you. Can I go move you and just have you drill? Because I would like to have them drill because if they're drilling. Yeah, I know. There's a bunch of stuff that's about to rebel. That's fine. It may even be better for me to go move all of my men to fight off the rebellions. Uh. Because I don't really need to expand too much right now. Outside of maybe going for the rest of Macedonia. Uh, I, yeah, I want to finish the freaking tree. We got to do it. And he's going to be so weak. And there's all these disloyal provinces. They all hate us. <laughs> they all hate us. It's 100% because of our stability. That's fine. We'll get that back later. Mm-hmm. Because I've noticed with the profit with the, the rebellions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are you? This guy. It's because you hate me. And I can respect that. That's respect. Look at that. We're doing he's doing it again. You're doing it again. Even though you know I'm right here and I'm gonna eat you alive. I am going to consume you. Okay, so we go here. I'm going to move you somewhere even safer. Drill this army. How much? So monthly experience. If I make you gain even more experience. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Integration? Oh, they got integrated. No. No, you, you don't actually get to stay here. We gotta get that. We gotta get that settled straight, straight away. I don't want you living with me or anything. God dang it! By zero over time. It's because we're already max. No, we're not max. You just don't like us. It's very disappointing. Uh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Integrate. Don't drop by one. Okay, that's one that could be integrated. You're not, you're, you still got a ways to go. Okay, that's one more. We got barbarians. Barbarians. Oh no. There's quite a few barbarian pops over here. And that's fine. Uh. 
What do we, what do I want to, yes, I want that, there we go, I didn't even have to think about that for long. Just give me more pop loyalty. We're gonna have our whopping zero stability, but it'll, it'll be fixed over time. It'll fix itself. I think as these guys get more, yeah, more military experience, look at that. Oh my god, since it's average cohort and I only have one cohort, I can just cheese it. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it, we're gonna do that. That's all this guy's job for the rest of his life. I actually even need to put him in like... Oh, uh, that's a safe enough spot. There we go. We're gonna do that, and that's just gonna massively increase our military experience. It's like almost doubling it. I'm gonna have you go and defend the borders. Where's our money going? Like, we're spending more money on forts than we are. Here, I gotta, I gotta go drop that one. That one's fine. Pirates. How am I getting raided by pirates? Don't I got a mega navy? Okay, your guys are going up for that. That's fine. Uh. War. Paonia. That's toxic, guys. Completely expected, though. Every time they rebel against us, we're gonna have our vassals at least with us. Ah, oh, no. More people. What are you guys doing? Like, a lot of these provinces, it's like they rebel against us, but it's like three... Like, these guys. Do they even have an army? They have 2k. That's what I mean. A lot of these armies, these provinces rebel, but they don't rebel as one giant blob that could actually threaten me. They just, they just rebel as individual provinces. Yeah. Like this guy is another 2k province. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I'm not in an offensive war. And my AE drops so much faster since I have so much of it. And all I do is sacrifice my stability. And we got another games can I siege that down I think I can I don't think it even matters so yeah there we go easy peasy easy peasy yep and that is some dude Paonia oh you guys tried oh wait did these guys rebel as two different places oh look at that your Paonia? Oh no, there's just two Paonias. Okay. Why is there two? Why is there two? There's two of them. Oh great. Now there's two of them. Well, unfortunately, their double rebellion still surprisingly did not work at all. Who would have saw that one coming? I'm just gonna take that stability button. And look at that. We're we're not actually even doing all that bad. Things are going pretty solid for us suffering three rebellions at once we'll become loyal yeah that's fine I don't think he's actually a threat of doing anything to me he's just there to farm experience through the moon oh man look at that guy that is that is so cheesy that is the cheesiest thing. I guess our uh, the average man, you know, just ignore the fact that we're in three rebellions at once. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares about being in three rebellions at once? The Gatians are coming back again for their five millionth uh, rebellion. I think that's the entirety of those guys, right? Yeah. And I get no AE boom. Oh. Boom, we, we even lose more AE from fighting them. Look at them go. Mm. Where's your capital, guys? Can I click on it? There we go. Uh, the two Paonias are not doing too great. Poor guys. Who would have who guessed? That's why I remember in that the other episode, I was so worried about having so much AE... But there's no um, coalition mechanic in this game. Uh, so you can just... I mean, people will hate you and maybe they'll declare war on you as one person. But you know, other than that, who cares? 
God dang it, guys. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I, actually, I want to take it. Because it's really only one cost, and it makes my, my borders look so good. Look at that. Now all we're left is with, with these one guys. We're a tribal vassal. You know, if you ignore that little spot right there, we're good. And, uh, yeah. Other than that, things are going well. We're winning our triple rebellion at, all at once. We're already down to 60. Uh, ooh, okay, we're down to 60 AE. That we're going to get a little bit more because I got to get the Gations because they're, they're just, they won't stop. They won't stop. Is that our vassal? Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. Uh, the Romans, you know, they're they're going to be a problem, but hopefully I'll be even stronger. No, I'm not going to take in anyone. Sorry, guys. I got bigger problems to deal with. Oh, my God. The, Rome, the Romans are already coming after us. How are we doing? Yeah, look how huge they are. Rome, can you just, like, stay away? That would be awesome if you could just stay away from me. They're going to destroy us if we fight them in a war. That is majorly concerning. Uh, what are you doing, Rome? Where, who are you guys fighting now? You're just fighting more barbarians. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Uh, are we going to win? We're, we're sieging down there. Yeah, that's all going well. I'm going to move you guys back to the north. Hmm. I'm going to have to expand faster than the Romans are. Which I think is actually manageable. Because I can always just start moving east. We can just move east. Try to befriend Rome. We'll take all of the east. They'll take the west. And then at someday we'll have a giant cataclysmic fight and hopefully we'll win that don't know what the odds of us actually winning that are hopefully we'll be able to cheese so many mechanics in this game that it will be us you'd hope no i need more popularity guys i'll spin that boom we're gonna get 0.4 minus more a look at that it's falling as we speak I don't even think I'll get too much for taking Geisha. You have allies? No, you don't. You done don't. But I don't have any stability. Crap, I forgot about that. Oh well. We'll get him when we when we get our our stab back. It's not really that hard. Because fighting these rebellions, all in all, is really easy. Nobody will ever actually unite against us. So, you know. Just keep the the chill, you know, chill gang. Boom. And every time they do it, we get another month of AE reduction. So I look at this and I see an absolute win. We are losing money from forts. Oh, I gotta go destroy some forts. It's a good suggestion. What fort wants to get destroyed? Which one of these is better? I don't think I want that fort. Actually, I don't want this fort. Dang it. I don't have enough loyalty. Okay, it's going to have to be that one. Nope, can't destroy that one. Okay, I can't destroy that one. That's fine. That one's fine. That's a wonky province. Uh. Oh, these ones got to get destroyed. No one's ever going to attack me over here in a meaningful way there we go that should give us a lot of money is that the fort cost there we go back in the plus i'll probably destroy some more forts but i'll do that probably off off camera uh without recording how's our fleet maintenance it's getting up there but we got quite a mighty fleet which is building up passively and the romans are kind of scaring me I think I can make it up by I'll eventually consume the Antigonids and I will befriend the Romans and I will just try to push east. I don't think I want more of these lands. Uh, maybe. They're so easy to beat. But anyway, that'll be for then. Until then, if you liked the video, you can leave a like. If you want to see more, you can subscribe. 
until next time take care